Hey, let's talk about code refactoring using ChatGPT 4.0. When I used to teach game design, I always told my students, don't use scripts you didn't write. And if you have to use a script you didn't write, definitely never use a code you don't understand. I always made one exception for that. There was a script that I found once that was a JavaScript code and we were programming only in C-sharp. But this JavaScript code was something I really didn't understand because how it was written, but I knew that it worked. And what it did is it took a 3D object and took the mesh and made the mesh visible from the inside. Now, since back in those days, there have been many advancements made, and this is something that is easily done in Unity. But at the time, it wasn't easily done, and this script was the only way I could figure out how to do it. And the script just worked, so I didn't care that I didn't totally understand it. But now we've got great generative AI tools to help us out. So I figured, why not take that old code that I haven't used in a decade and throw it into ChatGPT and see if it can help refactor it a little bit. So let's set up the scene here a little bit. I'm in an old version of the Unity editor, because I have to use an old version in order for JavaScript to work. And you can see that I've got a cube and the cube is rendering inside that cube I've got a sphere and when I go inside the cube you will notice that I can see the sphere that's inside of it but I can't see the inside of the box of the cube this is a normal behavior for a mesh meshes are by default one-sided and what I wanted to do was to be able to add a script to the cube to make it to where whenever I was inside the cube, I could see the cube. So what I did, I found this script, and I would attach my script to that object. I'm gonna go into play mode. Now in order to move around, I'm gonna go back to scene. And as you can see, once I go inside the cube, it works. I can see the cube from the inside because it is also drawing the meshes on the inside of the cube. Makes sense code works. Now, as you can see, the issue with the code is it's not very well commented. It has a few comments, but not much. And it's just really not human readable at all. It's very difficult to understand unless you really know Unity script or JavaScript for Unity very well. Otherwise, it's just kind of a mess of stuff. And I thought, hey, it works. Why mess with it? But here we are today, messing with it, trying to see if we can get it to make more sense. So I took this code and I put it into ChatGPT and asked it, hey, can you make this human readable? Which by the way, uh, there's a link down at the bottom. It's gonna have all of the scripts that I used as well as even the prompts and the responses from ChatGPT are gonna be in that link. So you can actually see what that discourse with ChatGPT looked like. But I gave this script to ChatGPT and said, hey, can you make this look more human readable? And I'll show you what it gave me. What it gave me is this script that is now much better commented, but it didn't actually refactor anything. It just did a better job of commenting it, or so it appeared. I still wanted to test it to see if it actually worked once it had commented everything, make sure I hadn't broken anything, make sure ChatGPT 4.0 hadn't broken anything. Great news, with the updated script attached, I can go inside of it, and sure enough, it still works. So it did a great job commenting and not breaking it, but it still wasn't that much more human readable. It still had some kind of messy stuff in it that I didn't love. So as politely as I could, I told ChatGPT, hey, um, you did a great job commenting, but it's still not very human readable. Can you make it more human readable? And it actually did a really good job. All of a sudden, variable names are much better. It's much easier to follow. The comments blend well with the variable names, etc. Just so much better. It's just a lot more human readable. It doesn't look like just a string of characters that, as a human, I just can't even wrap my mind around. So now I had my doubts. Is it still going to run? Is it still going to work? Because it looks a whole lot different. So I tested it. I've got my updated, second version of the updated script attached. 
and great news, it works. ChatGPT did it. Again, specifically ChatGPT 4.0 did a great job of not only commenting like it did the first time, but actually refactoring it and making it much more human readable. Take a look at the code down below. Again, the link is right down there. Check it out. See what you think. I think it's a great use case for how ChatGPT can really do a good job taking a script that maybe one person doesn't understand very well, like myself, and turning it into something that is much easier to read, much easier to understand. And at a very minimum, even with very little prompt engineering, has just way better commenting. But if we can get better commenting as well as just a code that just is more human readable, it's that much easier for the next person to use and to recycle, repurpose, whatever it might be. So try it on your own. Again, this is just one instance, but a great, great way to make your programming just a little more human readable for the next person or yourself later in time. Let me know what you think in the comments below.